What really interests me is how the technology has evolved and what that will mean then for HR. So let's take live streaming. Are we going to see now disciplinary investigations being streamed live on Facebook or on Instagram as a story? How will businesses respond to that? How will the HR community use that, uh, that rich data in, say, a disciplinary investigation? Feeling respected and valued is central to engagement and clearly to achieve that employers need to seek to understand the benefits associated with different ages within their workforce. They need to foster an environment where people feel they can be open and honest with each other and perhaps challenge stereotypes and ask questions without fears of repercussions. Businesses are making use of artificial intelligence but we need to be careful there as well to ensure the programs that we use don't fall into the same trap of bringing about um, bias towards a particular grouping. So the main thing business can do to tackle the pregnancy penalty is make it as easy for fathers to take time off to look after children as it is for mothers. It's still seen as acceptable within the workplace to challenge a male who leaves work early or who wants to take time off for childcare in a way that it just wouldn't be for females now. And that's really an issue that does have to be tackled.